Hello everyone and welcome back to the multiplayer FPS tutorial series. Today I want to put some usernames above our players heads and also let the player set their own usernames in the main menu because right now we just have player and then a bunch of random numbers which isn't great. So to start things off I'm going to go into our resources photon prefabs and into our player controller. So this canvas is an overlay canvas which means it displays on the entire screen um, and covers everything and we want to make a new type of canvas to display stuff above our head in the world and that's called a world space canvas so to do that we're just going to choose create UI canvas and then we'll change the render mode to world space this is going to be gigantic to start with um, I'll just hide this for now but this is a gigantic canvas and we want it to be right above our head so to fix this I want to set the width and height First off, there's only like 400 on the width and 100 on the height, just so that it's kind of uh, rectangular. And then I'll set the position to 0, 0, so that's right in our player. And then I'm going to set the scale to something really small, like 0.001 on the X and Y. And then if we move this up, you can see it's a, that's a little too small. Maybe 0 0.005. It's a little better. Then let's select our canvas and choose UI Text Mesh Pro, and then we'll just drag that to make it a child of our canvas. Next, we'll set the anchor up correctly, so we'll click on this like little target thing in the upper left of the rec transform, and then holding Alt and Shift, we'll double click on the bottom right one to make it fill the entire canvas. And this text is going to be gigantic because we dragged it into a canvas with a small scale, so to fix this, we'll just set the scale of the text to one by one. Then on the text component, let's center it. Uh, add the text username just so that we know what it is and then we'll increase the font size a little bit. Next let's go to our canvas and we're going to add a new component called billboard which is just going to make the canvas face any active camera in the scene because otherwise um, the username text will be displaying at a weird angle and we want it to just face the camera and be kind of flat against the screen. So in the script, the first thing I'm going to do is delete all the Unity generated code, and then we're going to rewrite the update function. Um, we're also going to make a variable cam of type camera, and this is just going to store a reference to the camera we're facing. So in update, we'll say if cam equals null, then we'll set the cam to find object of type camera. So if we don't have a camera, we'll find one in the scene somewhere. And then if cam equals null again, so if we didn't find a camera, then we'll just return because we don't want to be trying to look at a camera that doesn't exist. Then we'll just say transform.look at, so we'll face the cam and we'll have to do dot transform at the end to get the transform component. Now if we head back into Unity, I'm just going to go to our menu scene and then press Control B to build our game. When that's done, we'll be able to test and see if the usernames are facing the camera correctly. They won't display the actual username yet, we're just testing the billboard feature right now. So now that we're in the game, we can check, and it's not working right. It's facing the camera, but it's inverted. It's facing the opposite direction. So to fix this, let's just go back into our billboard script. And then after we look at the camera's transform, we'll just say transform.rotate on the vector3.up axis, so along the vertical axis by 180 degrees. So we just flip it along the vertical axis, and that should work fine. And the next step is actually making the username text look like the player's username. So to do that, I'm just going to add a username display script to it. And in username display, I'm going to make a new serialized field photon view. We'll just include photon.pun. I'm going to name this player PV. And then serialized field tmp underscore text text. And then in start text dot text, we'll set that equal to player PV dot owner. So we get the whichever player owns that photon view. And then from there we can get their nickname, which is what we set in our launcher script. If we look at our launcher, you can see that we set our nickname here, and the nickname will sync across the network automatically. So we set it when we start the game and then We'll be able to display it on anyone's client by getting the owner and then getting their nickname. 
So now if we just assign these, so we'll assign the player PV to the player photon view and then the text to the text. And then if we build again, all right, create room, test. Bind room, test. Okay, start the game. And look, it works. We can see player 0263 and player 0551. That's the username that they were set in the main menu as well. So next we're gonna get rid of these random number names and do some actual names. So in the menu, the game view, um, I'm just gonna open our title menu to edit it. And I'm going to make in our, we might as well just do this in our button container. I'll make a new UI input field. We'll set the height to 70 to match the buttons. And then this font size, what's the button font size? 45, 45. And then I'll set the placeholder text in here to be username. I'll just rename this username input field. Then on our launcher, can open this up. And I'm just gonna make, we're just gonna move this to a new script because the launcher should just be for managing rooms and stuff. I don't really wanna put this in the launcher script. So let's just make a new script called player name manager. Then in here, we're gonna make a new serialized field, cmp underscore text. We'll call this, or cmp underscore input field, and we'll name this username input. And then whenever this username input is updated, we wanna set our name to it. So we'll just make a new void on value, um, public void on username input value changed. And in here, we'll just say, Photon network dot nickname equals username input dot text. And now all we have to do is go to our username input field, make a new on value changed event, and then whenever the value is changed, we'll call player name manager dot on username input value changed. So now if we disable this again, start the game, inset bug. Uh oh, we forgot to assign the input field in the canvas, so let's just do that. And then if I set my name to Rugbug and create a room, whatever, you can see that my username is now Rugbug, and if I start and look above my head, there's Rugbug. So we don't actually really want to see our own username when we're in the game above our head. That's kind of dumb when you look up and see your own username. So on our username display script, we're just gonna say if player PV dot is mine, we'll just game object dot set active false. So if we do own this, if we are the local player, then we just disable the username text. So if I go to the menu and try that again, I'll have to retype my username because we don't save it. Start, and now we don't see it above our head anymore. So I also want to save the username because it's kind of sucks if we have to type it in each time. So to do that, we're just going to use player prefs, which is a really easy way to save basic information. So in void start, we're going to say if player prefs dot has key username. So if we have the username variable in our player prefs, then we'll say username input equals player prefs dot get string username. So we'll get the username variable that we have saved dot text because it's an input field. So we need to get the text component of it. And then we'll just also set our nickname to that. Otherwise, if we have not set a username yet, we'll set username dot text equal to player plus random dot range zero, 1,000, or 10,000, because it's exclusive, dot two string, zero, 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 zero. So we'll just generate a random username if we don't have one, and then we'll just 
call on username value changed to save that once we've generated a random one so we don't generate a new random one each time. And then in here we'll also save it. So player set string username and we'll just set it to username input dot text. So now if we go and start the game Because we haven't set up a username yet, it generated a random one for us. So then if I change this to Rugbug, create a room, you see we have our name. And then if I restart the game, and it's saved as Rugbug. And if we create a room, we'll have the name Rugbug again. And if you ever want to clear your player prefs, you can just do edit, clear all player prefs. And then if we run the game again, you'll see that because we cleared it, we get a new random name. You set this to anything and it'll save. And that's that. Uh, one last thing, I just want to make sure that we can see each other's usernames. So I'm going to build, set this to rugbug build, great room. And then I'll set this one to unity editor, find room, test. Oh, we're both in here. Then we start it. You can see that I can see the Unity Editor's username, and the Unity Editor can see the Rugbug Build's username. And that's great. Cool. And that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. By the way, my own multiplayer FPS, Red Match 2, just came out on Steam a few days ago. It's free, and I'd love it if you went and checked it out. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters Big 3D, PGM Brew, Crazy Potato, Gary Timeless. Benzito, Louie, Neil, Professor DJ, Twisted Sights, Buck O, CKVFX, Dilnora, Dottie, Ghost Boy, Joel, Mike, Ninety, Orchidy, Sam, Tolga, William, and X Zippy Zack X. Thank you all so much.